Hello friend, welcome to the my lecture. This is in this lecture we will see the different kinds of modes and specifically we will see the TE modes in a cylindrical waveguide. We will define how the naming of the modes are given inside the cylindrical waveguide. So first of all we will start with the waveguide. So basically there are three kinds of wave. First one is very basic there is transverse electromagnetic wave known as TEM wave. In the transverse electromagnetic wave you can see here the red one is the electric field and blue one is the magnetic field. So you can see that the electric field and magnetic field component are always perpendicular to each other or you can say these are always transverse to each other and wave is propagating along y direction. So the propagation of wave is perpendicular to both electric field as well as magnetic field. So in transverse electromagnetic mode both electric field and magnetic field are always perpendicular or are always transverse to the direction of travel. This kind of mode is called transverse electromagnetic mode. So the wave which is propagating in a free space are always transverse electromagnetic mode. Now when we we'll use the waveguide we cannot have because the transverse electromagnetic mode cannot survive inside the waveguide whether it will be a rectangular waveguide or a cylindrical waveguide. So we are having two other modes these are called first one is called transverse electric mode in the transverse electric mode only electric field is proper only electric field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So the wave is propagating along this length that will be let us consider along the z direction. So this electric field vector is only perpendicular to the direction of propagation and this mode is called transverse electric mode while the magnetic field is normal to the direction of <coughs> magnetic field is normal to the direction of propagation. So this kind of modes are called transverse electric mode sorry here it is only TE. So this is also called TE mode. The next is transverse magnetic mode. Here it is TM. So in transverse magnetic mode the magnetic field is only transverse through the direction of propagation while the electric field is then normal to the direction of propagation. So you can see here this is TE mode, the blue one is electric field vector and the red one is magnetic field. So electric field, when electric field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation where we are assuming that the wave is traveling along this direction. So electric field only is perpendicular then this is TE mode. Here only magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of field hence this name of these modes are TM mode. So depending upon which kind of field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation the name is given. If both electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular then that is called transverse electromagnetic mode. If only electric field is perpendicular like this one then that is called transverse electric mode and if only magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation then that is called transverse magnetic mode. In this lecture we will see the transverse electric mode that is TE mode in a circular waveguide or cylindrical waveguide. So the nomenclature of circular waveguide is TENM mode. So this first subscript N represent the number of full cycle variation in one revolution in a or along the circumference the number of full cycle variation is denoted by this first letter that is N. The second letter M indicates the number of zeros or maxima along the radius of the waveguide. So first subscript indicate the full cycle variation and second subscript indicate the number of zeros or one zeros or maxima along the radius of the waveguide. One condition is given the zeros on the axis is excluded if it exists. The zeros on the axis is excluded if it is exists. So on the periphery of waveguide if zeros are existing then we have to 
exclude that zero. We'll see the example. So one by one, we'll see different modes. Let's take this is first mode. I don't know what the name of this mode is. So we'll see step by step. Let us consider this is the intensity of this mode and this is the vectorial representation of mode. So you can see here, let us take this is my zero. No electric field, this solid line indicate the electric field while this dotted line indicate the magnetic field. So you can see that the first subscript indicate the variation of electric field along the phi direction in one revolution. And the second subscript MD indicate the variation or maxima or minima along the radius of the wavegate. So we'll start from, let us take from this location and we'll move complete revolution around the wavegate. So this is, there are no electric field here. So this is zero, which will be corresponding to this point. Now we are moving 90 degree and we are having maxima here, maximum electric field are there. So this point denote the maximum electric field which is corresponding to this maxima here. Once again, we'll move 90 degree and we reach this point. Here we are having no electric field. It means it is zero, which corresponds to this point in a cyclic variation. One more 90 degree revolution. This will be negative maximum. Electric fields are maximum, but it is opposite to the direction. The electric field is going in this direction. So this will be the negative maximum, which denotes this point. Once again, moving 90 degree will, will reach at the same point where we have begun. So this represent zero. So this is the point indicating this location. So you can see that along the full revolution around the waveguide, we are having one full cyclic variation. So this denote the first subscript is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1. Now we'll see the next. We don't know what is m. So if we'll move along the radius of the waveguide, you can see this is the center of waveguide. So here we are having a maxima. And we'll, we are moving along the end of the waveguide. So along the radius, we are having one maxima and we have to exclude this zero because this is on the axis of or you can say this is on the periphery of the waveguide. So we have to exclude this. So we are having only one maxima. So this waveguide mode is n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 1 which is equal to TE11 mode. So this is our TE11 mode. The intensity curve shows the this dark one or you can say the black one is no electric field. This denotes no electric field. While this, this denotes the maximum electric field. So you can see here, here you are having a maxima and it is zero. So while you move around the waveguide, this will be having a one full cycle variation. And when you move around the radius, there will be one maxima hence the name of this waveguide mode is called te11 mode te11 mode is also a fundamental mode the mode which is having the lowest cutoff frequency is called fundamental mode so this is the te11 mode in a cylindrical waveguide this is the first mode which can propagate inside cylindrical waveguide let's see some other example once again let us take we don't know what is this mode so we'll start from this location will move 45 degree so here we are having a maximum 0 then we are having maximum once again we are having 0 which denotes this point once again we are having negative maximum which denotes this point moving ahead we are having minimum which denotes this point so one cyclic revolution is complete same way if you go from this point to this point one more cyclic variation will be there so there are two full cyclic variation along the one revolution along the waveguide is there. Hence, 
the first subscript that is n is equal to 2 now if you move from the center towards the edge of the cylindrical waveguide then there is one minima here you are having one minima and there are one more minima so or you can say one more maxima is there but we have to exclude the maxima at the edge so only one minima will count and this mode is n is equal to 2 because two cyclic variations are there and one minima is there you can also verify using this intensity diagram we are having this black one as a minima and if you if we are moving we are having this maxima but we have to count only this minima so this is te two cyclic variations so te2 and only one minima means it is te21 mode so you can see that this four full four maxima it means we are having two full cycle variation if we are having in previous case we are having only two maxima it means we are having only one cyclic variation so depending upon number of maxima divided by the two will give our first subscript number of maxima divided by two will give first subscript here we are having two maxima along the complete revolution means the first subscript n is equal to this two by one that will be equal to sorry this will be sorry two cyclic variation two maxima means two by two it means we are having one here we are having four maxima so four by two will be two n is equal to two it means this is te2 and one minima here it means it is te21 mode similarly here we are having you can see there are four maxima these are four maxima and if you move from the center towards the edge along the radius here we are having one dark region or you can say this is the minima and as you move along the radius here we are having one more dark region or that corresponds to here so we are having two minima and we have to exclude this so this is te there are four maxima so te2 and there are two minima one and two so that corresponds to te2 two, two mode sorry so this is te2 two, two mode similarly you can see in this mode we do not have any variation along the circumference of the waveguide along the phi of the waveguide we are having only variation along the radius so n is equal to 0 because no variations are there along the circumference of the waveguide so this will be equal to n is equal to 0 and we are having only one minima and second minima is at the edge of the waveguide so we have to exclude that minima so we are having only one minima so this is te n is equal to 0 because no variations are there n is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1 because only one minima is there so this is te 0 1 mode similarly you can check by yourself there are no variation along the azimuth along the phi direction and we are having minima 1 2 and this is third minima but we don't have to calculate this so this is te 0 0 because no variation and 2 minima 1 and 2 so this will be te 0 2 same way there are two maxima it means it will have one variation one full cycle variation it will move along this side so this will be te1 and here we are having minimum 1 and 2 so this will be te1 2 same way you can count this maxima 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 8 divided by 2 4 4 full cyclic variation and if you go through along the radius 
we are having only one minima this is only one minima there are no other minima so this is p 4 and 1 same way you have to count maxima 1 2 3 or you can count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so p e 4 and move along the radius from this point towards this point so here we are having minima and second minima is here in the intensity diagram one minima second minima so we have to take this as a te4 and two minima so te4 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 so four uh, we are having four maxima so four divided by two sorry one two three four five six six maxima so six divided by two that will be three and number of minimas one two so we are having two minima and four maxima four deep sorry six maxima so six divided by two so te three and two minima so this is te three two mode this is how you can denote different modes here you can say there are no variations so this is 0 first subscript will be 0 first minima second minima third minima and we do not don't have to count this so this will be te 0 3 same way this is no variation so n is equal to 0 here 1 2 3 4 so this will be te 0 4 you can see here there are two maxima and we are having one two three and four four zeros so this will be te one four same way you can count the other you can name the other modes this is your te two three mode this is interesting one you can see number of maxima one two three four five and six so n is equal to 6 divided by 2 so this will be equal to 3 and minima you can count this is first minima second minima third minima fourth minima and fifth minima so this will be te 3 5 thank you very much